today. This is uh, all the stuff that we use. I won't explain it because I don't know what half is for. No, I do. This, those are stoppers right there. Those stick in the rock. Those are cams. The uh, grab in the inside of the crack, and then all the other stuff. There's sleeping bags, stuff like that. So this is right there, about oh, what is that? 80 feet above us is the summit overhang, I would say, of the roof. After that is the top of El Capitan. My God, I never thought I'd see that. <laughs> and and uh, so this line right here, you go all the way down there. That's where we just came. So, and from a better perspective, this is what looks just below me. We are at approximately 67, 6,800 feet elevation, which means we're about 2,800 feet from that. That's the meadow. And uh, this, we came kind of down over there, and then around there, up there, and kind of up this way, pretty much. And uh, this is the pitch we just did right here. Down there, you, you can barely see it, but that's where I was standing. This pitch actually is two in a row. For some reason, the the belay was not there, and uh, Bo decided to strive forth, and uh, we he, we did two pitches at once, ended up running out of rope, and we had to tie two ropes together, but we got here, and we're all set and safe. So anyway, that's up, that's the climb, and that brings us up to our haul bags, and my feet and my knee pads, and then this is what carries all our stuff. We've lugged these things up, uh, the t you know, 2,800 feet or so, and uh, here's Bo again, and here is where we sleep. This is a portal ledge. You can see Bo's feet indenting the bottom of it. This is basically a tent that hangs from a little gadget right up there, and this tent basically is a ledge that we bring with ourselves, for the ledge. And this is that's what it looks below, like below. Oh, and this is what it looks like above. Da, da, da. And I'm sleeping where Bo's left foot is, actually, right there. Right here. So that's where Bo sleeps. That's where I sleep. It's very cozy. And this is what's underneath us. Pretty much air. <laughs> Pretty much about 2,800 feet of air, actually. And uh, anyway, so that's that. Here's a beautiful... Let's see if I can do it without getting everybody seasick here. Here's a beautiful view of the valley. These are the rocks and stuff. And that, and, and I'll have to show the obligate, just to give you an idea of how high up we are, I have to give the obligatory picture of my car, which is right down there. See that black top thing? That's it. Gives you an idea how high up we are. That's straight down. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> anyway, uh, the next time we uh, talk will probably be when Bo is climbing tomorrow. We're going to get a little picture of him doing the summit overhang and, and uh, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, tune in tomorrow. Now it's on. it's on. I just wanted Bo to get a picture of me to prove that I was here. <laughs> and now, I am here. Now where's that, Bob? And if Bo can, Bo can, uh, can move it around, he can give you an idea just to make sure that... Oh, way, right way there. up here. Right there. So. Okay, and we're, you see there's no Turk photography going on here. <laughs> you can see Bob's really bleeding on the rocks and everything. <laughs> bleeding, bleed. Let's see the blood. There you go. Mm. Yeah, those those hands have been worked. No. Good thing I had these gloves, these repelling gloves. Yeah, Good thing. I didn't have them. No. I think my hands are a little worked. <laughs> They're not, it's a nice black kind of charcoal color too. Yeah, that's that aluminum. Like your whole bodies are probably that color. Though. Well, that's the A3 for tomorrow. Doesn't look all too bad. It goes up to the roof there, and after that pitch, it's uh, two A1 pitches leading to the summit. Tuesday. Tuesday at 7.18. Just thought I'd yell that out. Yeah, can you believe that we're spending six days to do this? Well, we didn't really start on Friday, though. That's true. Five nights, though. Right. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. No, 
four nights. Five nights. Yeah, this is our fifth night. Yeah, but we sat around on Friday and did nothing. We went swimming. Still a night. <laughs> Here's the rest of the portal edge scene. Bob sleeps on the right there. You can see the bed okay, has a taper a to it. The people don't, they don't want to hear this again. Yeah, I'm boring. <laughs> Sorry. Got a wonderful sunset that we're totally missing because we're stuck in this dihedral. But uh, we'll just imagine it tonight. The fact that we're getting a lot of sleep is going to be nice. Um, Kurt didn't do a good job with the bolts this time. They're just old, cruddy quarter inch bolts but um, they're gonna have to do Let's see that one there and there's one hidden under the gear and then finally the best bolt of them all <laughs> right there I, I think whoever made it used that metal pretzel there too yeah, I think that might have been oh yeah that's uh, Bob's little <laughs> Um, used to be a cool jerk. <laughs> he found yeah. a different way to use it than anyone else. It looks like a, ba what is that? A it looks baling like a brillo wire. Br brillo pattern. That's right. <laughs> well, Bob's really here. We've documented it now. We're gonna see you tomorrow. Ciao. Be like Bo with that Gatorade. Welcome to the top of El Capitan. Top, but it's the top of the mirror wall thing. That's right. A little strappage going in the lens here. That's supposed to, supposed to be there. Uh, here's the top. A lot of more rocks. It's kind of the theme of this last couple of days. And Bo's putting away, they're cleaning up some stuff here. We got a big pile of garbage around here. Um, and that's kind of the edge. Um, there's a tree. So this is. Wednesday, 2.27. We are about 24 hours behind schedule. Not that bad. There's part of the valley down there. See some cars. And we actually ran into a guy up here who's lost. He wanted to know where Modesto was, and I just couldn't tell him. Anyway, uh, we'll go. We'll tune back when we have a better view. Okay, Bo, I wanted to ask you, what were some of the memorable things of this climb? Kind of the first time we got washed out, and uh, when I got the rope stuck on like pitch four. Uh, the, the thing that strikes me, Bob, is the time I almost fell off the top. Damn, <laughs> the wind. Yeah. Well, as you can tell, it's pretty windy up here. You probably can't hear a thing. I'm trying to cover the mic with my hand. Um, well, let's see. I got the rope stuck on like pitch four. You had to repel down, and then what else? What else went on? Um, jugging up at night to the heart ledge the second time. Um, Heinous off with. Yeah, the terrible off with uh, that Bo had to go through. Um, a bunch of nights in a portal ledge, which is always kind of a home, home sweet home kind of feeling. I spent what four nights in it. Yeah. In a row. Yeah. This is pretty amazing. So, uh, and then, and then, uh, let's see, yesterday we had the nice exciting little uh, nightmare with the rope on pitch 28, pitch 28, 29, where we almost didn't have enough rope. Well, we didn't have enough rope. But being the ingenious, in, ingenious people we are, we figured out a way to get past it. So, here we are. We're on the way home down now. We're gonna go back to uh, get food and, uh, and that's it. This is what Bob looks like when he's at the top of El Cap. A lot of <laughs> note, I want you to note the air conditioned shoes. How many times have you taped you those up, Bob? Those, Bo? You see that little pink thing there? That's, that's your that's toe. That's part of the toe. That's your toe. The other one doesn't look too great either, Bob. Yeah, what it was is they have, uh, you know, they're mice in some of these ledges and they just were kind of eating my shoes. Really I don't buy that for a minute. <laughs> no, uh, Bob really gave his shoes a workout, that's the truth. Yeah. But we're going to try to bring him back to 510 and say, what's up? <laughs> this guy's stupid or what? So, it took us, what, 
what, Friday, Saturday, Friday night, Saturday night, Friday night, five days. Five days, almost six. Six days of being up on this damn rock. But it was great, good experience. Go through some trials and turbulations, but turns out to work for the best, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And this is kind of the longest, uh, the longest growth I've had in a long time, too. How's I've, that looking, Bob? Well, it's, it's, well, you know me, you know, it's, it's uh, I, I'm sure I have like little, little splotches where it doesn't grow in, but, you That's know, okay. It's, I'm just further evolved from the apes, I think. <laughs> I got a goatee slash double face. That's right. So there's uh, Bob's haul bag up there. Just kind of talking in the bushes. And uh, again, it's pretty windy up here. Bear with us. There's all the junk. The big ball rack. And um, we'll give you a shot of the summit. There is actually a summit somewhere up there. Right up there. And then you can see over toward the, the west side of El Cap. Uh, the shield and oh god, the Salate wall, the harbor, and all that big stuff right up there, right in this area. So, a lot of routes around here. And of course, this is where we came up from. See ya!